For years, Blue Origin was the company that never seemed to launch. Founded by Jeff Bezos, it moved at a pace many called glacial. While SpaceX launched rockets almost weekly, Blue Origin's New Glenn stayed grounded, fueling public doubt. The delays became infamous. New Glenn's first flight was promised for 2020, but years slipped by. From the outside, it looked like a project stuck in limbo, but inside, the team pressed on, refining engines and infrastructure. When New Glenn finally flew, the booster was lost on re-entry. A partial success, but not the breakthrough moment they needed. The world watched, skeptical, as Blue Origin's slow, methodical approach was put to the test. Their philosophy, test everything, move with caution and build for reliability, even if it meant falling behind. But in a fast-paced industry, this made them look like the tortoise in a race of hares. As the November 2025 launch approached, anticipation and cynicism mixed in the air. Blue Origin had to prove their step-by-step, -step, ferociously motto could deliver real results. This wasn't just about a rocket, it was about showing they were more than a billionaire's hobby. The launch was their chance to silence critics and finally claim a place in the spotlight. The moment of truth had arrived. Rocket launches are never easy, and New Glenn's second attempt was a masterclass in unpredictability. The first launch was scrubbed due to threatening cumulus clouds, harmless from the ground, but dangerous for rockets. Safety first static electricity from those clouds could cripple the rocket's electronics. The team reset, only to face a new obstacle. A cruise ship wandered into the restricted launch zone, forcing another scrub. Even the best rocket can't outmaneuver weather or wayward tourists. As if that wasn't enough. A solar storm threatened the rocket's avionics, adding cosmic uncertainty to the mix. It felt like the universe was testing Blue Origin's patience. Finally, on November 13th, everything aligned clear skies, clear range, and manageable solar activity. After years of waiting and two last-minute scrubs, the countdown resumed. Social media buzzed with anticipation. The world was watching. This was more than a launch, it was a test of resilience and resolve. No more delays, it was time to fly. At zero, New Glenn's seven BE-4 engines thundered to life, lifting the massive rocket skyward in a blaze of blue flame. The ascent was smooth and powerful, a relief for everyone watching. Stage separation came flawlessly, the first stage detached, and the second stage's BE-3U engine ignited, right on cue. The mission's payload, NASA's twin escapade spacecraft, designed to study Mars' magnetic field. The second stage executed a perfect burn, sending the probes on their way to the Red Planet. It was a huge win for Blue Origin and planetary science. But the real test was just beginning. The first stage booster, now plummeting back to Earth, was about to attempt a feat Blue Origin had never pulled off at this scale. Landing on a drone ship in the Atlantic, the company's future and reputation hung on what happened next. The world held its breath. Would the booster make it home? Everything depended on the next few minutes. The New Glenn booster's return was a fiery trial. Re-entry had destroyed the first flight's booster, but this time, upgrades made all the difference. Fins and engine burns guided the booster through the atmosphere, slowing it from hypersonic speeds. Its target, the drone ship Jacqueline, waiting in the Atlantic. Onboard computers made split-second adjustments, steering the rocket with precision. The final landing burn ignited just above the deck, slowing the booster to a gentle touchdown. On the live feed, the booster emerged from the clouds, landing perfectly on a pillar of fire. Mission control erupted. Blue Origin had done it. Years of setbacks and skepticism were erased in a single flawless landing. This was more than a technical achievement. It was proof that New Glenn could be reused. Overnight, Blue Origin transformed from a question mark to a real contender. The era of reusable rockets had a new player. Blue Origin's triumph can't be separated from the shadow of SpaceX. By New Glenn's first landing, SpaceX had already launched over 135 times that year, making rocket reuse look routine. Falcon 9 is the industry's workhorse, and SpaceX's experience is unmatched. Blue Origin, by contrast, had just two launches in a year, still at the start of the learning curve. Meanwhile, SpaceX is already developing Starship, aiming to make even Falcon 9 and New Glenn obsolete. Blue Origin is catching up to where SpaceX was a decade ago, but the race is far from over. The companies have different philosophies. Blue Origin is methodical, SpaceX is rapid fire. New Glenn's success shows the slow approach can work, but the gap remains wide. 
Still, Bluer Region is finally on the track, not just a theoretical rival. They have a powerful, reusable rocket and a chance to close the gap. The competition just got real. New Glenn's success is a game-changer for NASA and the U.S. space program. NASA has relied heavily on SpaceX, but depending on one provider is risky. New Glenn offers a crucial alternative for heavy-lift missions, from science probes to deep space hardware. NASA now has two domestic options, boosting resilience and competition. This is vital for Artemis, the program to return humans to the moon, which needs massive cargo launches. New Glenn can fill that role, supporting lunar logistics and future science missions. But, Blue Origin isn't replacing SpaceX, they're a supplemental partner, still early in their journey. Reliability and frequent launches will take time to prove. This first landing is a huge step, but many more are needed. For NASA, it's about building a stronger, more flexible team for the future of space. November 13, 2025, marked Blue Origin's transformation from slow mover to major player. Years of skepticism and setbacks gave way to a spectacular success. The question now, can they make this routine? The next challenge is to refurbish and relaunch the booster, building a cadence and customer base. The journey from one landing to many is where the real test begins. For humanity, more rockets mean more access, more science, and more opportunity. Competition drives innovation and lowers costs for everyone. New Glenn's arrival makes the space ecosystem stronger and more dynamic. It's another step toward the moon, Mars, and beyond. For Blue Origin, it was a giant leap. For humanity, a crucial step forward. Space is hard, but persistence pays off. The race just got a lot more interesting.